The superior cluneal nerves originate from the dorsal rami of primarily the upper lumbar spinal nerves. The nerves cross the iliac spine to innervate the skin and subcutaneous tissue over the gluteal region. The nerves extend as far as the greater trochanter, and the area of innervation may overlap anterolaterally and the iliohypogastric and lateral femoral cutaneous nerves. A diagnosis of superior cluneal nerve and medial cluneal nerve entrapment may be made by palpation of the iliac crest or long posterior sacroiliac ligament, resulting in marked tenderness and provocation of symptoms and pain relief with local anesthetic injection. The superior cluneal nerve tender point on the posterior iliac crest is approximately 70 millimeters from the midline and 45 millimeters from the posterior superior iliac spine. And the osteocomponent component of this tunnel is the rim iliac crest, and the fibrous component is the tough thoracolumbar fascia. Now that's the medial branch of the superior cluneal nerve. Now this is a patient who originally had a sacroiliac joint injection as well as gluteal trigger points, gluteal bursa injection without any long-term relief. And on exam, she did have a positive tenels near the iliac crest, right where my needle is and where I'm working. And what I did first is a longitudinal view, and I identified and anesthetized a medial branch of the cluneal nerve. And now I'm doing a cross-sectional view with a transverse approach. And the nerve is quite small and difficult to identify. And the best way to identify a positive nerve block is to have the patient report response with only one or two mLs of lidocaine, 2%. This patient did very well and is going to go on to peripheral neuromodulation.